Good morning. Today I uh, I have absolutely nothing to do at all, and that's a good thing and a bad thing because uh, I want to do something, but I have absolutely nothing to do. Uh, but yesterday uh, I saw this uh, Fousey Tube uh, video where he talks about making YouTube positive again, and it kind of sparked something in me, you know, because. It's true, there's a lot of like shit channels where it's all about bringing people down and not making like good original content. Not that I'm making any original content at all. This has been made a thousand times like a, a guy sitting in front of a camera and just talking. It's it's old school YouTube and that's what I like. Um, I, I made videos what is it, five or six years ago. Um, when YouTube really wasn't that big yet, there were some some YouTubers who were big and who I watched. But it's not like it is now. It's not a cash machine like it is now in the same way. And unfortunately, as soon as money is involved, like it is in these like amounts that it is now, I think people forget how to be be human and kind of just think money. And I think that's. Some of what Fousey is saying too, or Yusuf is saying too, like, you forget your compassion and your humanity because of money. In, in the sort of, you don't care if you ruin someone's career or just straight up fuck, fuck your friend over because, well, money. And that's some shit. Uh, one of the things I didn't really agree with, with Fousey, uh is, um, about uh, Phil DeFranco or Sexy Phil or what, what his name is. I've, I've been watching Phil DeFranco since I can't remember the, what the video was, but it was something with a giraffe in like the the front. What was it called? The picture of the of the film. Um, and it's it's a shit ton of years ago, and I, I really loved it. And here's the reason why Phil DeFranco is not a drama channel in like the same way as. Leafy and Scares and what's his name, fucking Keemstar, whatever. Because he's just, just straight up D back. Um, Phil DeFranco is, an, I would say, more of a news channel. And in the good way. He actually, one of the things I loved about him and who, what, what drove, drove, what, what's it called? Made me want to watch him is the fact that he had the band of the day, which I think is one of the most awesome things ever. Like some positive news. He started to sort of go away from it, but it's still there and he still has the positive view on some stuff. And he reminds people, please stay positive. Please look at this uh, horrendous crime, for example, from a lot of different views. Don't just like do as the media tells you, but put a question mark at what it is that you're watching or hearing or seeing. And I really don't feel like Phil DeFranco has been letting, I guess, how can I say this, has been using Fousey in, in, in that like clickbait way, to be honest. I think maybe the other guys have, but Fousey has like sort of attacked Phil and Phil has just defended himself back and, and that's pretty much just it. And now I totally forgot what the entire point of this video was. The point of this video is exactly the same message as Fusey's, which is just try and go back to old school. Just try make positivity. Just try and do something that you like and that may inspire someone else. Because every YouTuber I watch has made made me do what I do now, like on YouTube. Of course, and and at the same back the, back then, the guy who actually made me start YouTube was, what was his name? Uh, one of them was Charlie Sakula. Other one was Jarhead nineteen ninety two. He was a Danish YouTuber. I loved him. He was awesome, so cool. And they kind of got me into this entire YouTube thing. And then I did it for a couple of years, and then I stopped again, which I I actually regretted. But coming back, it's just a shit storm of. <laughs> Shit. So what is his 
slogan. Hashtag make YouTube positive again or something. I love it. It's good. And I think this is probably just going to be the vlog that I do today. This is this is it. Um, yeah. So in uh, in honor of Fusi, stay positive. See ya.